Man, you you're not in the face. What you, you mean? Funny, you know, man. the combo is Drake, Kendrick, and Cole. That's mm-hmm. what it's always been. And I hear my name around that a lot. So, what's How- up, everybody? And welcome back to another episode. So, Big Sean has revealed that he and Kendrick Lamar cleared the air after Kendrick Lamar dissed him by name on a years old leaked verse. Speaking with Charlemagne the God before the release of his new album titled Better Me Than You, Big Sean explained that there's no ill will between him and Kendrick. So during the chat, Sean answered questions about a 2019 leak of an early version of Kendrick Lamar's track Element, which was on the album Dumb. So while the lines were ultimately cut from the song's final version, so in the leak that resurfaced, Kendrick rapped, Big Sean keeps sneak dissing, I let it slide, I think his false confidence got him inspired, I can't make them respect you, it's not my job, you're finally famous for who you date, not how you rhyme. Honestly, I feel like Kendrick did the right thing. Going after Big Sean was pointless for him. It was pointless then and it still is now. Man, you funny, You're not in the face. What you, you mean? Funny, you know, man. the combo was Drake, Kendrick, and Cole. That's mm-hmm. what it's always been. And I hear my name around that a lot. So, outside of the big three, I actually think it's a fantastic four. Because I throw Future in there. Okay. But not because of lyrics, but just because of impact over the last decade plus. And then I think after that, that's when you talk about the Shans, the Wale's. Mm-hmm. That's, why, that's why I go. Well, there's only one me and there's only one Wale, so. Mm-hmm. Um, okay, so the big three convers. So what's the question? Or do you ever be upset that you're not in, in that combo? Well, shit, I hear my fucking name all, all, all the time when people talk about this big three stuff. And like, even when you said you're so whoever, who did you say uh, your bigger three? Mm-hmm. I don't have to. So you're so called bigger three. Right? Oh, okay. So uh, what people think is the, okay. I got yeah, what yeah, yeah. What got people you. think? Yeah, that's why I said you're so called bigger three. I, you know, well, the general consensus, big but three. I, but I also understand that I have been very inconsistent as an artist. My consistency is where I lack. I say that in that too. Mm-hmm. It's like I haven't put out. I put out. You know. I haven't put out music in four years, bro, essentially. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? I haven't put a, a project out. So I can't expect to be in a com- in that conversation when I haven't been consistently feeding hip hop and feeding right. fans and feeding, you know, and that's something that as an artist, it hurts because I do need to, the people who do rock and ride for me, like I want to give them reasons to be fans. And I think that just comes with more consistency. But I think I'm at a point in my life where I can produce more um, but still keeping on God's time and in my time, but you know, I, I think the way my life is going, it's like that's one of my priorities is to like put more music out with meaning too, though. You know, mm-hmm. with with still that feeling of okay, feeling good about it. Let me show you how God works. Look, look what my next question was. Can you be upset by what you haven't gotten out of rap if you know that you haven't been as consistent as the people in the big three? That's what I'm saying. So it's like. I'm not delusional. Like, I haven't mm-hmm. been putting out music, so that's one of the, yeah. But I do feel like when it comes to rapping abilities that I have no limit on my rapping abilities. I feel like I can keep improving and keep getting better, and I can hang with anybody on any song. You know, I, 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 and I've proven that. Oh, absolutely, 100%. Yeah, with all of them. With all of 100%. Yeah, and even like with uh, Control, the next song we did, I made sure I had a better verse on Holy Key. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and that's just, you know, that wasn't, that was just because I w- was like, wait, hold up, you know, I got to like make sure I'm rep- repping my shit proper right now. So then Nipsey dies. Joe Budden had created this, like, before that, Joe Budden had made this, like, there's a Kendrick Big Sean beef, and to the point where I tried to ignore it, but he he made that narrative so fucking real that I think it really did become a thing. So, like, Punch... He wasn't wasn't all the way wrong, though. You said there might have been something in the air. Well, yeah, because I'm getting to the point where me and Kendrick talk. Okay. So I get to the point where I'm like, damn, do we got something going on? That's why I have something prepared, right? And then when I run into day free, and he's like, nah, bro, it ain't nothing. Like, it's all love. He said something like that wasn't directly towards you. It was for anyone, you know? Okay. So then Nipsey dies. And I sit on a plane next to Punch. Random as hell. Mm. Uh, we're, we're headed to J. Cole's festival. And... He's like, you ever talked to Kendrick? And I'm like, no, I never, I I know it ain't shit there, but no, we never really spoke. 
then in that around that time like that day or maybe the day before that or the week or day within that same time period that leaked shit happened it was a leaked verse mm -hmm. and it said what you said yep I'm like, damn, nigga, y'all motherfuckers said it wasn't shit and it was something. So you got me looking crazy. But maybe he prepared something just like the same right. way you were thinking. He was like, you know, let me get my nukes just in case, too. Right. But yeah. the thing is, that song came out and he changed that bar, right? So that wasn't on the song anymore. It mm -hmm. was a leaked verse. So I had to keep that in mind because I was pissed when I heard it. Mm -hmm. So then I'm like, OK, he changed that on his own. So he probably came to the conclusion that it was nothing. So then I speak. Then me and him talk. And I got the text in my phone. And he's like, I might pull the text out and, and Let's read hear it. it. Why not? Oh, I ain't even got my. Somebody else got my phone. Somebody grab Sean's phone. I'll, I essentially don't. No need to misquote him. Yeah, I ain't trying to misquote shit. Because <laughs> I don't give a fuck that much to misquote a nigga. And and how long ago was this? You said right after Nip died. Yeah. Okay. So I mean, you can read my stuff too. You want me to read it? No, no, no. Okay, I don't okay, think okay. we should read it because I think that's kind of like bitch you, made, you, but I want you, you to kind of like see the sentiment of it. Oh, Paul. So this is me, and then okay. this is him. What up, champ? Hope, you know, yes, we're in great grievance. That's real. Wrongly. So yeah. in a sense, I don't want to say it. He apologized in a sense for going that far, you know, yeah. and for that shit coming out, right? Yeah. So I wanted to show you that because in a sense, he apologized, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, if Kendrick apologized for that literal, that same leak that I heard prematurely, right, that he didn't use, it's like, then it, then it leaks fully later, right, and people hear it, and we already discussed it. And he said, appreciate the shout out on a Nipsey song. Mm -hmm. I already addressed it on the song with Nip. Mm -hmm. Lack of communication or wrong information for people fueled by the ego is like mixing flames with diesel. That's what he said to you in the... No, that's what I said on a song with Nipsey. Oh, I know, but in the text, it sounded like he kind of said the same thing. Yeah, that's yeah. that's why I said it in the song. Gotcha, because gotcha, in that gotcha. text, he said, yo, you know, my ego, da-da-da. Yeah, so yeah, it's yeah. like, when that shit leaks, it's like, people are like, oh, you heard what he said about you? I'm like, nigga, I'm not a clout-chasing-ass nigga, bro. I'm solid, and I stand on mine, and I'm not about to do something because everyone thinks a certain thing. Like, we already talked about it. I already got an apology for it. And your, sh your shirt right now says, I do not care about their opinions. Yes. So why would you care about the opinions of other people if you know what it is between you and Doc? Exactly. And that's what it's been. You know, I ain't really had too much communication with him since then. Mm -hmm. And, you know, but I just want to let, like, I represent a lot of people from my city, from where I come from, fans of mine, who think I didn't stand on my shit. And that's not the case. And that's what I want to clarify. Mm -hmm. I wasn't being a bitch nigga or like tucking my tail or nothing like that. And if it was real smoke, if it was really something to stand on, I would be full front. I would be there front and center for it. Mm -hmm. And I would be prepared. You know what I'm saying? But it's not. And people want to make something that is not. So that's something that I never really got a chance to clarify. 